of honor to the head of this house, the founder and the overseer of the entire Trumpet and Zion ministry. Our very own Apostle Daryl Glenn McCoy. Hallelujah. Come on, give the man of God and his wife a, a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. As well as all the elders, hallelujah, Jesus, here at the house and all our musicians, all our praise team. Hallelujah. And each and every single one of you, give yourselves a hand clap of praise for just being in the house of God, having the mindset to come out. Thank you, Jesus, for your Father, you feel alone is so worthy. I want to just say congratulations to all the graduates that graduated from high school, that's graduating from college, how Jesus is graduating, hallelujah, Jesus, even those that's graduating from daycare, we magnify you. Thank you, Jesus, we magnify you. I'll tell them all the time, you know, hallelujah, graduation is just a step into the next level, we magnify you. Uh, other words, you get ready to walk into real life. Now we magnify you. Thank you, Jesus. And we just pray God's blessing upon all those that's graduating, hallelujah, Jesus, in the ministry as well as those, hallelujah, all over the land. Thank you, Jesus, because see, people understand you're going to need, they're going to need God's blessing, you know. Just like Mama Alexander was saying, how Jesus magnified you, they're going to need the Holy Ghost. They're going to need to be saved. They're going to need to be delivered. How Jesus magnify you? Because they're they coming into an hour now that they're facing some things and stuff that some of us never faced. We, we never had to deal with. We magnify you. Thank you, Jesus. You, they, you have to really, really pray for them. Because there's so many distractions. There's so many stuff out there just, just to lead you in error and lead you away. We magnify. That's why we got to really be praying. Hallelujah, Jesus, for our young people in the hour that we're living in. Because this is a critical hour. I mean, it's an hour, how Jesus, of deception, delusions in the land. People that have, know what's so sad about it, people that have known God are walking away from God, getting disconnected. Because of all this distraction, all the things going on, hallelujah, magnify it. That's why you got to stay anchored in the Lord now. That's why you got to pray, God, I need you to keep me, God. I need you to shield me. I need you to guide me, God. I, I need to live sanctified now, hallelujah, more than ever before. Thank you, Jesus. We just thank God for another opportunity to be in the house of God on tonight. Father God, I ask right now, God, you just touch this vessel of clay, God. Father God, just touch me, God. Purify me that I might be used for your glory tonight, God. Father God, take this vessel and speak through it. God, I surrender myself totally and completely unto you on tonight to be used of you to do your will in this place. God, bless the ears that's getting ready to hear your word, God. Let it be a blessing. Let it be a strength to thy people, God. God, if we ever needed our strength, God, we need it right now. In the hour that we're living in, hallelujah, Jesus, so much turmoil, so many things going on, God. We need you now, Jesus. Don't leave us, God, but be with us forevermore, God. Strengthen us in such an hour as this. Keep our mind, God. Keep our spirit. Like never before, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask it all. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, so I just give God a hand clap of praise in this place for he alone is so worthy. He's so awesome. And like I say, it's a critical hour. It's an hour that you're going to have to know your God. It's an hour, how Jesus, that you're going to have to really be praying. You're going to have to really be fasting and, and seeking the very face of God. Thank you, Jesus, for he alone is so worthy. But God has a word for us tonight. I think going to be in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, starting at the 14th verse. We're magnify you. So we just thank God for what he's doing. Look at your neighbors. The greater is coming for those that believe and trust it in Jesus. As a matter of fact, you got to understand greater is coming. It's dark, but God getting ready to do something for his people. How do you matter of fact that God getting ready to do something special for his people? That's why we got to stay encouraged. We got to stay strengthened. That's why you got to pray for your fellow brother, pray for your fellow sisters. That God strengthen them. Hallelujah, the matter of fact. So many people are going through so many things right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we got to know that God got it all under control. Thank you, Jesus, for magnifying. To the book of Romans, chapter 8, starting at verse 14, we have it, amen. In the first, many as are what? Led by the Spirit of God, they are the what? Sons of God. 
For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, what? Abba, Father, the spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the what? Children of God. He said, and if children, then as, as of God, join as with Christ. And so really we suffer with him that we may also be what? Glorified together. In other words, how Jesus manifest? He said, as many as are what led by the spirit. Then we got to be led in this hour. We got to be led by his Holy Spirit in this hour. You know we, we got to have a connect, how Jesus, with God because we, we're living in an hour and it's so important that, that you be connected with God because there's so many things right now that can get you disconnected. There's so many distractions, hallelujah, in this land that can take you away from God. And see, we, we're coming into an hour for the things that's getting ready to come upon the face of the earth that we're going to have to have a faith in God like we ain't never had. We're going to have to come into a oneness with him because see, when, when you in oneness, you got that peace. When you in oneness, you, you got that joy. When you in oneness, hallelujah, whenever you come up against something, you know you're going to what? You're going to overcome it because God is with you and he's moving for you. But you got to be led by the what? The spirit. You got to be coming into the oneness with God. And see, right now, see, people ain't in oneness with God. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got so much chaos. That's why we got so much strife because we're not in one. But when we get in oneness with God, that is such a blessing. How will Jesus magnify it? To the book of St. John, chapter 15, starting at verse 1. I'm being connected, coming into oneness. So we're in an hour and we got to get back connected with God. Because when we connect it to God, how will Jesus It makes living for God easy. Thank you, Jesus. We're the fire. You know what I'm saying? When we, we connect it with God, hallelujah, it makes able to being able to overcome, hallelujah, Jesus, hindrance and overcome obstacles and overcome this flesh easy. But we got to be living in him. We got to be connected with him. He said, I am the what? The true vine. My father, the husband. Man, how Jesus man the fire. He said, every branch in me that bears what? Not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that bear fruit. He purges it that it may bring forth what? More fruit. He said, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. He said, Abide in what? Me. And I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide where? In the vine. No more can ye except be what? Abide in me. To name us abide in him. Uh, uh, the word that it abide means hallelujah Jesus I got to I got to have humility because I got to do what I got to surrender for you to come into me hallelujah Jesus you magnify you you know what I'm saying and not only that I got to be able to do what trust you the only way I can trust you I got to have what tried you uh, to see how you're going to act under pressure and what I find out, you got a lot of people that they that they're coming to church, but but they're not coming to God. They 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 in the house of God, but they ain't got to connect with God. And then not only that, but we're in this hour now because so many people are going through stuff. Hallelujah, Jesus! In the finances, they they're going through stuff on the job. They're going through stuff with their family. Hallelujah! You know they're going through stuff in all areas of life. And, and what happens? It begins to to wear on you. And when it begins to wear on you, then your prayer life begins to suffer. Hallelujah! Your your giving begins to suffer. Hallelujah! Jesus. Your praise begins to suffer because what the enemy wants to do he want to put you under pressure to make you hallelujah start disconnecting to make you start getting by yourself hallelujah to make you start thinking hallelujah that all this i'm doing hallelujah ain't nothing happening for me but what you got to understand hey neighbor to neighbor it's just part of the process but, but, but see, the enemy trying to get us disconnected now. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's why, hallelujah, Jesus, we got so much distract now. Hallelujah, Jesus. When you look at the body of Christ, hallelujah, Jesus, it used to be people were preaching what one word. They were staying on one thing. But now you got so many different gospels now. Hallelujah, Jesus. Everybody want to preach the grace message. Hallelujah, Jesus. Man, if I talk about you, want, you can do what you want to do and you're going to heaven anyhow. The devil ain't nothing but a lie. You ain't going to heaven anyhow. You're going somewhere else. 
anyhow. You understand me, magnify it. Because in order to get to heaven, hallelujah, there's some requirements uh, that's got to be met. And so there are some requirements huh, that got to be met. But see, the enemy now, he want to make you think huh, that there's an easy way that you can bypass, hallelujah, the rules, the laws, and the regulation and get into heaven. But don't understand, hallelujah, you ain't going to bypass nothing with God. Do you understand? Huh? And see, what God is doing, hallelujah, Jesus, huh, you don't let the devil loosen. That's why, hallelujah, you got to pray and you got to stay connected huh, because there's so much stuff out there to get you disconnected now. Huh? See what happens, hallelujah, Jesus. When you get disconnected, ain't nobody know anything about hallelujah, Jesus. When the hallelujah, Jesus, you plant a vine, hallelujah, Jesus. You understand? Guess what? When, when something gets disconnected from the vine, it begins to do what? Harden up. It begins to get hardened. When they, and when they begin to get hardened, hallelujah, life is leaving it. How many people done got but begin disconnected and, and they begin to get hard, hallelujah? They, they, they used to be easy to minister to. They, 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 they used to be easy to reach, but, but now, hallelujah, Jesus, you can't hardly reach them. Now, hallelujah, Jesus, you can't hardly minister to them, hallelujah. You used to could call them up and you can give them a word, but now when you give them a word, they want to try to tell you something called Completely opposite, hallelujah. What's wrong? Because they they, they disconnected and, uh, and they, they're getting harder and harder and harder. And what they don't understand, hallelujah, if you don't say, if you stay disconnected long enough, uh, hallelujah, you get so hard that you can't get back what? Reattached, hallelujah, Jesus. Their name is a neighbor. So I need to stay connected. Hallelujah. Just I need to stay connected. And you see, too many times, like I was telling them uh, the on, the, on the other Sunday, hallelujah, at church, I said, look, uh, you understand, when you go through these trials and uh, you go through these storms, hallelujah, if you don't have uh, the right mindset and the right understanding, uh, it'll make you get hard. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because you can't forgive for the hurt. You can't forgive for the pain. You can't forgive for the suffering. Uh, but, but you're still going to church. Hallelujah. You're looking good on the outside, but, but on the inside, hallelujah, Jesus, uh, you're dead man bones on the inside, hallelujah, you dying, hallelujah, but, but you got people fooled because you, you still dressing, hallelujah, the part you, you, you still shouting, hallelujah, you still look like everything is okay, but fact of the matter, everything ain't okay, your praise done change, your, your shout done change, hallelujah, you don't understand, you, you're trying to praise, but fact of the matter, because you got that jealousy in you because you you got that hurt and that pain in you hallelujah Jesus uh, that you don't realize that you sending up strange fire uh, under God because see do you still say keep dealing with this stuff huh? it'll get you disconnected from God hallelujah that anger will get you disconnected from God that, that bitterness will get you separated from God huh? you see we in the hour now we can't afford hallelujah huh, to be separated to your neighbor, to your neighbor I can't afford right now huh, to let anything separate me hallelujah Jesus huh? that's why I pray every day and say Lord huh, search me through and through God huh? if there anything in me God that ain't right God uh, get it out of me God uh, God don't let it affect my relationship God don't let me go in and out the church uh, thinking I'm okay hallelujah uh, and I'm getting further and further away from you hallelujah Jesus oh Lord uh, I need hallelujah Jesus to get back reconnected hallelujah Jesus uh, you see what's done happened it was years ago hallelujah how many of you remember the, how the power of God used to fall in the church you, you would come in the church you could see the glory cloud hallelujah hanging people were getting delivered people were getting set free hallelujah people were getting changed hallelujah Jesus uh, you know why because see we, we were connected to God hallelujah we came to church with a purpose uh, we came to church I said, God, we coming, hallelujah, to see you. We coming to worship you, God. We coming, God, because we need something for you, hallelujah. And we got to have it, but, but somewhere along the way, hallelujah, we done got distracted somewhere along the way. Stuff done came in, hallelujah, Jesus. We done start doing stuff, hallelujah, that we used to not do because we, we're getting disconnected. Hallelujah, Jesus, because what you don't understand, hallelujah, when you get disconnected, it'll open the door for an enemy to come in. Hallelujah, just like the other day, hallelujah, hallelujah, one of my cousins, hallelujah, Jesus, he killed this big old rattlesnake, you understand, man, if I hear this thing about, hallelujah, seven, eight foot long, hallelujah, you understand, big around, 
It's my arm down here. Tell man to fight. Man, he killed us. Say, look. So what you got to understand, he ain't just showed up. He been there a long time. You just didn't know he was there. So, so how much stuff that we are dealing with, hallelujah Jesus, that we don't even recognize we don't open the door for something to come in. We, we don't open the door because see, hallelujah, we ain't said, Lord, hallelujah Jesus, Lord, I need your help, hallelujah. We still holding, hallelujah, anger. We still holding malice, hallelujah. You understand? We, we still holding a grudge uh, because of what something that done happened to us uh, and don't understand, hallelujah, that this is opening doors, uh, for stuff to come in. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, you understand? We manifest that. That's why, hallelujah, the Bible tells us to do what? Dress in what modest apparel, right? Uh, it tells us how to dress, how to carry ourselves. It is doing that for a reason. Uh, because so you don't understand, you can put on certain clothes uh, and it can open the door for spirits to come in. You understand? We magnify you. You can put on certain stuff and it, it'll open a door. You can go places uh, and it'll open a door and you don't even realize the door done got open, hallelujah but that thing a lay that dormant, huh? it a lay that dormant again, bigger and bigger hallelujah, Jesus. and before you know it, when it do get ready to raise up hallelujah, it was small but now it's something major that you got to deal with, that done got you disconnected, hallelujah, you wondering why you can't pray like you used to you you wondering, God, hallelujah, Jesus my worship ain't like it used to be, God, huh? I used to love worship, God, but, but, but now I can't get in it like I used to God hallelujah I used to love to come to church and pray God that, that was my passion God but, but now I, it's so hard for, for me to get to church hallelujah Jesus and get down on my knees and pray God I used to love to give God but now it's so hard to give it because what you don't understand the reason it's getting hard huh, because something is trying to come in huh, in between you and your relationship with God huh, and get you disconnected hallelujah just a minute for you sometimes hallelujah even in the natural like our car it's got a what battery in it right it's got a battery in it on the battery we got two cables a negative and a positive sometimes you can have the cables hooked up uh, but you got to do what something called preventative maintenance uh, because sometimes they can be uh, ain't nothing wrong with the battery the battery is in good shape it's holding a charge uh, but what happened if you don't do preventive maintenance uh, acid uh, begin to build up on the hallelujah Jesus on the cable on the terminal hallelujah where the connection is made hallelujah Jesus you see you don't understand see your praying huh, your fasting huh, is preventive maintenance huh, so when it's time for you to operate huh, when it's time hallelujah for you to get a move of God huh, you can get the move of God because you don't have what preventive maintenance hallelujah Jesus but what you don't understand you ain't doing a preventive maintenance hallelujah you got a new battery, hallelujah, but we don't understand hallelujah, acid done built up on the kind of on the terminal, huh? So you get out there and go to crank your car up, hallelujah, Jesus. Your car won't crank, but wait a minute, what's wrong, hallelujah? I know the battery's good, why, why it won't crank, huh? It won't crank even though it's connected, huh? Something has came in, huh? And separated the connection, hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? You look like you're connected, hallelujah. If people look at you in the eye, huh? It's says you connected but, but something done came in huh, and caused you to get disconnected huh? and see what the enemy will do hallelujah huh? what the enemy will do he'll, he'll throw stuff at you huh, to see if he can get your attention huh? you understand know he'll throw stuff at you to, to, to see if he can get your attention huh? and that's why you got to have a made of mind they know God I'm going on huh, to bless the name of the Lord thy God because I know huh, that my God is a healer I know my God is a deliverer my mind is yet made up to go on with the Lord God. Huh? So I'm praying every day, Lord. Huh? Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. That's why Paul said, I want I die daily. I want to die daily because, see, I don't want something that I done went through today, hallelujah, huh? to hinder my relationship. Huh? When I get ready to go down on my knees and pray this afternoon, hallelujah, when I get ready to wake up in the morning and do my morning prayer, God, huh? I don't want 
nothing, hallelujah, to come in between me and your relationship, hallelujah. Because when you get disconnected, hallelujah, things will start speaking to you. Your flesh will start speaking to you, hallelujah. Your flesh will start telling you that this is okay. God will understand, hallelujah. And the reason it will start speaking to you is because you're getting disconnected. Now, when you can fully connect it, huh? He said, I put this flesh in bondage. I, I put this flesh under control. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? That's the reason now. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's the reason right now, hallelujah, Jesus, huh, that the people's flesh is out of control because ain't nobody praying, ain't nobody connected to God. Huh? So when you ain't praying and you ain't connected, hallelujah, Jesus, huh, that flesh going to rise up. Huh? It's going to do what it want to do, hallelujah, Jesus, huh, because I don't care how long huh, you've been saved. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbors, I don't care how long you've been saved. You still got to watch yourself, hallelujah, Jesus, remember the fire. Just like told God told me, he said, the enemy huh, that you got to watch out is not the outside enemy. He said, but the enemy within. Hallelujah. He said, that's the most dangerous enemy huh, that you got to deal with because you got to understand. Huh? It knows you better than you know yourself. It knows how to get your attention. It knows what makes you move. It knows what makes you work. So what you're going to have to do, huh, you're going to have to be connected connected to something huh, that can put that flesh on lockdown huh? because if you don't put it on lockdown it's going to put you on lockdown Hallelujah. I'm just trying to help somebody to let you know that we got to get back connected. We got to get back to praying. Hallelujah. We got to get back connected to our God. We got to get back connected to the vine. There used to be a time. Hallelujah. Brother Green, we had peace. Hallelujah. Don't care what came, how it happened. We, we still had peace. We believe that God, what God going to provide. God going to make a way. Hallelujah. I, I just got some bad news, but that's all right. Hallelujah. I know my God got it all under control. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? And we would go with our praise, thanking Jesus. And other folks would look at you. Why in the world are you praising God? Huh? And you just got bad news. Why in the world? Hallelujah. Your conscience ain't told. Why are you? You ain't about to lose your mind. How in the world are you staying cool and calm? Huh? Because I'm connected huh, to my God. And I know he'll never put more on me huh, than I'm able to bear. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I'm trusting him. But now, hallelujah, huh? we're uncertain. Now, hallelujah, Jesus, we are, I, I think I can, and I, but, but I don't know. Uh -uh, you got to get to the one. I ain't know I think I can. I know I can. Huh? I know he is with me. I, I know he's going to provide for me. I, I know he's going to make a way for me. But, but the only way I can know it, hallelujah, huh? I got to have that divine connection. Hallelujah, Jesus. But, but how much stuff is uh, trying to keep you from getting, getting disconnected? Sometimes, uh, that's why you got to be careful, hallelujah, uh, when you're on your job so you don't understand, hallelujah. You got to pray for fact of the matter. Let's be real, hallelujah. On our jobs, everybody around us ain't saved. You understand? They, they talking any, all kind of junk, and that's why, hallelujah, you got to pray when you go in, God. Uh, Lord, cover me today, God. Uh, cover me as I go in the work, God. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. And then when you get ready to leave, huh? you got to pray again, Lord, huh? don't let anything that I encountered today huh? get on me and I take it home with me, huh? but deliver me from this right now, huh? because if you ain't careful, hallelujah, huh? if you ain't careful, you'll hang around them, huh? hallelujah, listen to what they saying, listen to what they doing, and all of a sudden, hallelujah, you ain't cussed in years, all of a sudden, cuss words are starting to slip out. Out, huh? You know what I said? All of a sudden, hallelujah, stuff about you will start to change, hallelujah, because you don't understand something huh, that slipped into you unaware, hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? That's why you got to pray to your neighbors and neighbors. So that's why you got to check yourself. Huh? You got to pray, God, huh? God, is there anything about me changing, huh? That's changing in the wrong way, God. Is there, is there anything about my attributes changing huh? in the wrong way that I don't see that there's somebody else don't see God. Huh? If it is God, let me know God huh? so I can get delivered from it. Let me know God huh? before this thing take me too far. Huh? Let me know God before this thing get me disconnected.
connect to God huh? because I understand I got to live huh, in this world and everybody in this world ain't saved huh? some of them don't want to be saved hallelujah Jesus but Lord I need you to protect me hallelujah while I'm out here amongst them God huh? I need you to put a shield around me God huh? that's why you got to guard yourself that's why you got to pray in a way Lord huh? I need you to shield me guide me protect me that's why the shield said do what put on the what the whole armor of God because I understand when I walk out that door hallelujah huh? I'm walking into a world huh? they want to try to make me walk away huh? for what I know is right hallelujah Jesus come remember that's why you got the house you got to pray because you'll pick up stuff you'll pick it up and don't realize you done picked it up now your attitude changing how do you not fighting that now, now your spouse trying to figure out well what's wrong with you 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 wouldn't that way when you left well what done happened you're a whole different person what's going on here Understand, let's pray because you don't picked up something. Remember, you, you, you don't picked up something. And let's get it uprooted before it get deep rooted. Let, let, let's deal with it while it's on the surface. Right, right, right. Let's deal with it before it starts changing. Hallelujah. Your character and everything else. Hallelujah. Am I helping anybody tonight? Hallelujah. I, I, I'm just trying to, to be real with you let you know that we're living in a world now that we got to remain connected to God. Hallelujah. And there's so much stuff out there huh, to try to disconnect us from God. Huh. That's why I tell them hallelujah. Huh. You can't listen huh, to every preacher on Facebook. You can't listen to every preacher on YouTube. Hallelujah. Because what you don't understand hallelujah. Huh? A lot of them jokers, they got charisma. They got skill. Huh? They got a way to pull you in. Hallelujah. Huh? And to pull you away from what you know is right. Hallelujah. Jesus, you understand? Huh? That was uh, oh, you can't listen to everybody. Hallelujah. Jesus. Uh, I, 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 I ain't listen to all that junk. Hallelujah. I'm listening to who I know huh, is preaching the truth huh, and the pure word of God. God, we magnify it. That's why you got to trust God. Because stuff will come in and get you separated. How many of us is dealing with stuff right now that happened 10 or 15 years ago that won't let us get fully connected with God? How, how, how many stuff, hallelujah, how many of us dealing with stuff, hallelujah, that done happen, hallelujah, Jesus, and keeping us, can done change our prayer life, done, done change the way, hallelujah, we treat people, hallelujah, Jesus. We used to have love, but because somebody took our love and abused our pure love, now we ain't got pure love no more, hallelujah, Jesus. Now we skeptical of everybody. Now we can't trust nobody and don't understand, hallelujah, because you can't trust if you can't trust nobody that you see how in the world huh, you're going to trust the God huh, that you can't see because what you don't understand you got to del deliver from over there because it'll change your relationship it'll take you away from God it'll get you disconnected from God but we, we, we're dealing with it we're holding that anger we holding that unforgiveness. We 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 holding that stuff. We don't understand. It's damaging us. Don't understand. Hallelujah. We 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 give a sacrifice, but 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 the sacrifice ain't pure. We we giving praise, but but the praise ain't pure. We giving worship, but the worship it ain't pure because something has got us contaminated. Something has got us disconnected. Hallelujah. Something has caused our love to become cold. I'm, I'm trying to help somebody tonight. I'm trying to help somebody tonight to let us know that we, we got to get back reconnected. And see, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, we got to get back reconnected because, see, the time huh, is drawing now. Hallelujah. Jesus, I'm the fire. Just like the other day when I looked, I saw on the flyer for the, for the Augusta Tent Revival that said, the door is what closing. The other word, the, the, the door is closing. So tell your neighbor, say neighbor, say, so that means you ain't got much time huh, to get this right. Huh? You ain't got much time to get delivered. Huh? You ain't got much time 
time, hallelujah, huh, to get back reconnected, hallelujah, Jesus, huh, because see, when you were reconnected, you, you, you had that peace, when you, you were connected, you, you, you had that joy, when you, you were connected, couldn't nobody just come to you and tell you anything you believed in, huh? but because you were saying, God, is this true, God, huh, is this right, hallelujah, God, huh, what to do about this matter, hallelujah, Jesus, huh, because we were what connected, but see what happens, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, that what was happening, that people that got hard, uh, they done got hard. Now that's why, hallelujah, Jesus, uh, it's hard to pastor a people. It's hard to preach to a people now, man, because they done been through stuff and got disconnected. Uh, and because they done got disconnected, they done got hard. So now, hallelujah, Jesus, uh, what God get ready to do, hallelujah, uh, he get ready to send the anointing and the word. Uh, just get ready to massage the heart back up. Uh, to get ready to make, hallelujah, you, you done got hard. But God said, I'm getting ready to soften your heart. Huh? I'm getting ready, hallelujah, Jesus, huh? to teach you how to love again. Huh? I'm getting ready to teach you how to trust again. Huh? I'm getting ready, hallelujah, huh? to teach you how to pray again. Huh? I'm getting ready to teach you how huh? to fall back in love huh? with me again. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? Am I helping anybody tonight? Lord, huh? I need you, Lord, huh? to search me huh? from the inside out. Hallelujah, Jesus, God. Because God, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you because I I, I don't got disconnected. They stuff in me, huh? They're trying to wake up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? If some of y'all be real up in this place tonight, they stuff you don't got delivered from uh, is trying to wake up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? It's trying to reactivate itself. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? You know what I'm saying? You having thoughts, hallelujah. Jesus said, wait a minute, where are these thoughts coming from? Hallelujah. Huh? You ain't drunk, hallelujah, no looking, hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? In the last 10 or 20 years, but all of a sudden. Sudden, huh? The taste of liquor trying to come back in your mouth. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? All of a sudden, you sitting in the house. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? And you smell smell weed coming from something. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Hallelujah. What is it? This that enemy trying to wake her? Huh? What's in you back up? Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? That's why you got to stay huh? connected to God. Huh? So the God abide in you and you abide in him. Huh? Hallelujah. That he can keep this uh, under control hallelujah because we're living in a dark hour right now hallelujah we're living in an hour now hallelujah demons are running everywhere huh? hallelujah and they ain't playing hallelujah they're not playing now huh? they want to take you out hallelujah they want a trophy hallelujah huh? now they come in to test you and try you huh? but you're going to have to be connected with God huh? that when they come and they look at you wait a minute huh? I can't do nothing with with this one because this uh, is the child of a king. Hallelujah. God, we magnify you. This, this is God's property. And I understand that I can't touch his property. Huh? Look at your neighbors and neighbors. I'm God's property. Huh? I'm God's property. I'm getting back huh? reconnected to the vine. Hallelujah. I'm getting back reconnected to him. Huh? Abide in me and I abide in you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Huh? But you got to come with a spirit huh? of humility. Say, God, huh? I'm coming to you just as I am, God. Huh? I'm going to be real, God. Huh? I need your help, God. Huh? I need your help to live holy. Huh? I need your help to live righteous, Lord. Huh? I need your help to keep the commandments, God. Huh? I can't do this by myself, but God, if you become one with me, God, I can keep them, God. Huh? If you let your Holy Ghost reside in me, God, huh? I can keep them, God. Hallelujah. Huh? If you let me, I come one with you, God. If I become one with you, God, huh, then sin will not reign in my life, huh, but you will reign in my life. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? Lord, deliver me from me. Huh? Hallelujah, Jesus. Because I know I've seen huh, what I can do. Hallelujah. Huh? I've seen what's in me. Hallelujah. Huh? But God, I don't want you to turn me over to this huh, because this right here will take me out. Huh? It'll take me further than I want to go. Huh? And it'll keep me longer huh, than I want to stay. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? It'll make me do something I don't want to do. Hallelujah. Huh? But Lord, that's why I need you huh, to keep me. Huh? That's why I need you huh, to protect me, Lord. Huh? Ah, hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? Ah, you worried about protect me from this one. Huh? Protect me from that one. But Lord, I need you to protect me from myself. 
I need you to protect me from myself because there's stuff in me, hallelujah, that'll kill me. There's stuff in me uh, that'll take me to hell. There's stuff in me uh, that'll mess up my life, hallelujah. Uh, and Lord, I need you uh, to help me uh, with myself. I need you to help me with myself, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. Jesus said, man, if I, uh, you understand? It's not the deacon or the preacher, but it's me, oh Lord, uh, standing in the need of prayer. Uh, it's me, Lord, need deliverance, God. Uh, it's me, Lord, need strength, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Uh, I'm going to stop looking at everybody else, God. Uh, but I'm going to start looking at myself. Hallelujah. Uh, you understand? It's a sad thing to mess around uh, and go to hell because you're looking at everybody else's fault up but you ain't looked at the one that's going to count for you uh, and that is your own fault hallelujah Jesus uh, Lord help me with me hallelujah Jesus God, we man, hallelujah, Jesus. Is there anybody be real today? And just raise your hand and say, Lord, huh? I need you to help me with me tonight. Huh? I need you to help me with me, Lord. Huh? I need you to help me with me because this stuff I, I'm dealing with, it want to get out of control. Huh? It want to do stuff. Hallelujah. Huh? It take me places I don't want to go, God. Huh? I need you, hallelujah, huh? to reside in me huh? so I can have control huh? over this body. Hallelujah. Paul said, like this wretched man that I am, who uh, shall deliver me from this one, this body of death? Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, it wants to live all the time, but at the same time, uh, it does stuff that's going to kill itself. Uh, you know what I said? It ain't never satisfied. It's got an appetite uh, that it can't never get satisfied. Hallelujah. You can't get it high enough. Uh, you can't get it drunk enough. Uh, you can't sex it enough. Uh, you, you can't sin it enough. It ain't never satisfied uh, uh, to whatever it's doing and take it out. Hallelujah. Jesus is the fire. That's why Lord help me with myself. Lord, I want to come one with you. Uh, abide in me and what I abide in you. Uh, I want to come one with you, God. Uh, because when I come one with you, uh, my language is going to change. Uh, when, when I come one to name and name, when, when you become one with him, uh, your language will change. Uh, when you become one with him, uh, the way you talk to people will change. When, uh, when you become one with him, hallelujah, uh, then the people will feel the love uh, on your voice. People will feel the compassion, hallelujah, huh? own your voice when you become one, one with him. As we're coming into an hour right now, hallelujah, Jesus, huh? that you're going to have to become what one with him. I, I got to get one, I got to get back connected to the vine. Stuff, stuff trying to get me to uh, disconnect it. Stuff trying to tell me, hallelujah, to stay at home. Hallelujah. Huh? You, you too tired to go to church today. Hallelujah. Huh? You, you, you can wait till next Sunday. Hallelujah. You, you can wait the next Sabbath. Hallelujah. You can wait the next Bible. So no, I can't wait because if I give you a door, if I give you an inch, huh, you're going to try to take a mile. Huh? You know what I'm Matter of fact, you need to go to it from a mile. Huh? Do you want to take a hundred miles? Hallelujah. So Lord, I, I I ain't giving you a door. Hallelujah. I need this in the house of God every time I get because I need it to get beat on. Huh? I need it to get corrected. Huh? I need it, hallelujah, to get delivered from it. Huh? I need it to be reminded huh, that God huh, is in total control. God, we magnify. Abide in me. He said, they was, I need him to abide in me. Huh? But I got to understand that he can't abide in everything. Huh? He ain't abide in everything. You can't be doing everything. Huh? You think he's going to abide in you. Huh? You can't be doing everything and think he's going to, hallelujah, use you. Huh? Look at your neighbor. The neighbor said, he ain't going to use you. Huh? If you're doing everything, going everywhere, listening to everything. Huh? God said, I want somebody to sanctify. Huh? I want somebody to set apart. Huh? I want somebody with a made of mind. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? I want somebody that a trust in me, hallelujah, 100%. I, I want somebody that when I say go, they'll go. Huh? I want somebody that say when I say stay, they'll stay, hallelujah. Huh? I want somebody when I tell them to do something, huh? whatever I tell them to do, hallelujah, huh? that's what they're going to do. Huh? They're not going to do no less huh? and they're not going to do no more. Huh? But they're going to do just huh, what I said. 
He said, I want a vessel. Tell your neighbor, he want a vessel huh, that he can use. Huh? You see, that's why the enemy right now is trying to get so many people disconnected from the word. Huh? They're trying to get you disconnected from God because he doesn't understand huh, that God can ready to pull out his glory. Look at your neighbor. Your neighbor said, the glory coming. Huh? There's somebody getting ready to get a visitation. Huh? There's somebody getting ready to get a visitation. You get ready to come one with God. Huh? And that's why the enemy want to try to keep you disconnected. Huh? That's why the enemy want to try to keep you, hallelujah, Half step it, huh? But tell your neighbors, the neighbors said, This is an hour, huh? You can't half step, huh? You got to be all the way in, huh? You got to have a made up mind, God, huh? I'm going to give up some stuff, huh? Sometimes you got to give up people, you got to give up family, huh? you got to give up money. But tell your neighbors, the neighbor, huh? Whatever you give up, huh? God will give you triple for all your trouble, huh? So whatever you think that you was going to lose, huh? When God get through with you, huh? You're going to have more, huh? Than what you thought you was going to lose. But see, you know what people try to tell you? Huh? They try to tell you what you got to give up. Huh? You know, if you go over there, they got too many rules over there. Huh? They're going to keep you in bondage over there. Huh? How do you understand? Know They're going to keep you in lockdown over there. Huh? Ah, but can I tell you what? Huh? It might be bondage over him, but guess what? Huh? I'm free knowing my God huh? is going to make a way out of no way. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? You understand? Know uh -uh. Thank God for this bondage because this bondage huh, is giving me a security. Huh? This bondage huh, is giving me peace of mind. Huh? This bondage huh, is giving me joy to find. Hallelujah. Huh? This bondage huh, is keeping me from having to go to the doctor huh, and deal with a whole lot of disease huh, because of this bondage. Hallelujah. Huh? This bondage is keeping my health. Huh? This bondage is keeping me thinking right. Huh? This bondage is keeping me living right. Huh? This bondage. Hallelujah. Huh? You call it bondage. Huh? But I found it out to be a blessing. Huh? I found it out to be a healer. Huh? I found it out to be a comfort. Huh? I found it out to be joy. Huh? I found it out to be strength. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, I, I found it out uh, that it is beginning to erase uh, my problems uh, because I've become one with him. Because tell your neighbor's the neighbor. Uh, but because I'm one with him, uh, I understand. Hallelujah. Uh, because I'm one with him, uh, I may get sick, but guess what I understand? Uh, I understand that God uh, is going to make a way out of no way. Uh, I understand that God is going to heal. Uh, I understand that God is going to deliver. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. You understand me? Man of fire, huh? I had a lady, hallelujah, Jesus, understand, huh? That just a couple weeks ago came to the church and huh? so I, I wanted you to pray for, for this matter. Hallelujah, Jesus, man of fire. Told me what it was. I said, I got not one question. I said, Do you believe God to heal? So I do. I do too. So we're gonna believe God. We magnify you and sister. We're gonna believe God. How is Jesus magnify? Came back to doctor report. Hallelujah. They didn't see nothing. They couldn't find nothing. Hallelujah. Told you he was a healer. We magnify you. They didn't couldn't see nothing. They saw it before. They don't know what happened. Huh? What happened was huh? because you believe he's a healer. I believe he's a healer. Guess what he did? Huh? He healed. Huh? You understand? We magnify you. Huh? You understand? We magnify. That's why because I'm connected to him. But get your neighbors and neighbor because I'm connected to him. Huh? Guess what? He abided in me. I abide in him. Huh? If healing is in the vine, huh? then that means healing is going to be in me. Huh? If peace is in the vine, huh? that means peace is going to be in me. Huh? If joy is in the vine, huh? that means joy is going to be in me. Well, whatever's in the vine huh? is going to be in me. Hallelujah. Huh? And since there's healing in it, huh? that means I might get something, huh? but I got the power power to heal huh, already in me. Huh? I got the power to deliver huh, already in me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, huh? everything I need huh, I already came equipped with huh? once I get the Holy Ghost huh, and I get connected to the vine. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, huh? whatever you need huh, is in God. Huh? Cause guess what? Hallelujah. Huh? Then there's a God to give you everything huh, that you need when you become one with him. But the name is, you got to become one with him, huh? There's some of us, hallelujah, huh? What God done did, he don't let us suffer. 
huh? But he said, if you do what? You suffer with me, huh? You're getting ready to reign with me, huh? He said, I wanted you to suffer with me, huh? Because I wanted to see, could I trust you, huh? Under pressure, huh? I wanted to see, hallelujah, huh? Was you just saying something, huh? Or hallelujah, Jesus, or did you mean what you said? You know, a lot of people say, I'm with you. I'm all the way with you. Hallelujah, Jesus, amen, the fire. But go through a trial. Huh? Go through a storm. Get sick. Huh? And stay sick a little bit too long. Huh? Guess what? Hallelujah. Huh? I, 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 I'm sorry, but I, but I can't keep doing this and I, I can't keep doing that because, see, hallelujah, what you're going through now huh, is starting to affect me. Huh? So since what you're going through is starting to affect me, hallelujah, Jesus, I, I got to let you go. Hallelujah. Well, wait a minute. Huh? You said you was down with me. Huh? Hallelujah. You said you was with me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? But tell your neighbors and neighbors, that's why God huh, is putting you through the test. There's some of us. Huh? God done tried us. Huh? He done sent us to the fire. Huh? He done sent us to the furnace. Hallelujah. Huh? But guess what? We remain loyal to him. Huh? And because we remain loyal to him, tell your neighbors and neighbors, huh? God get ready to reward you huh? for your loyalty. Hallelujah. Huh? You ever said other folks caved under the pressure. Huh? But because you didn't cave, hallelujah. Huh? It, it wasn't because you didn't feel like caving. Huh? Cause fact of the matter, you felt like came sometimes. Huh? Fact of the matter, you felt like throwing in the towel. You felt like I, I, I ain't going back to church no more. I'm done with it. Huh? But something huh, got you huh, and drug you to church anyway. Hallelujah. Huh? Something drug you to the altar and put you down on your knees. Hallelujah. Huh? And that was nothing huh, but the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Jesus. Huh? But tell your name is name. Huh? Because you remain faithful to him in the good. Huh? The bad and the ugly. God can ready to reward you. Huh? There's a people get ready to be rewarded. Huh? He said, guess what? Abide in me. Huh? And I in you. Huh? He said, I get ready to show you huh? the benefit huh? of abiding in me. Huh? The benefit is abiding in me. Huh? Now I'm going to show you what prosperity really is. Huh? So you think prosperity is money. Huh? But I'm going to tell you what prosperity will do, huh? It'll do what money can't do, huh? It'll show you real favor, huh? It'll give you the power to break forth, huh? You understand? Know Hallelujah, huh? It'll give you the power to call those things, huh? It's not as though they were, huh? It'll give you the power, Hallelujah, huh? To keep your faith in everybody else, huh? It's rather go giving up everybody else, huh? It's throwing in the tower, everybody else saying, huh? It ain't gonna happen, but tell your neighbors and neighbor, huh? My mind is made up, huh? Huh? I'm going to become one with him. Huh? I'm going to become one with him, God. Huh? I'm not going to let nothing huh, take me away from God. Huh? I might be dealing with some stuff in my life. Huh? But Lord, huh? I'm coming to you saying, Lord, get it out. Huh? Get it out. Huh? Get it out. Huh? Get it out. Lord, I'm being real with you tonight. Huh? I'm like, hallelujah, I'm coming to you like David. Huh? I'm messed up. Huh? Toe up from the flow of God. Huh? I got the can't help us, God. Huh? But if I can get to you, huh? if I can get back connected to you, hallelujah. Huh? There's somebody tonight, hallelujah. Huh? You done had a prayer life, huh? but it ain't like it used to be. Huh? There's somebody tonight, hallelujah. Huh? You done had a praise and a worship, huh? but it ain't like it used to be. Huh? But I'm here to tell you tonight that it can be restored. Huh? We got your neighbors and neighbor. Huh? It can be restored tonight. Huh? Hallelujah, Jesus. He given you an open door huh? to restore huh? your joy. Huh? To restore huh? your peace. Huh? To restore huh? your love. Huh? To restore huh? your strength. Lord, I need you to restore me. Huh? I need you to restore me from the inside out, God. Huh? I'm being real with you, God. Huh? I can't do this by myself, God. Huh? I need your help right now, God. Huh? I need your help to deliver me, God. Huh? I need your help to go inside of me, God. Huh? And look in the crevices, God. Huh? Stuff that I've been hiding. Huh? Stuff that I'm ashamed to tell anybody about, God. Huh? God, I want you to tonight. Huh? I want you to touch it. Huh? And 
Lord, move it out of me, Lord. I want to walk out of this place a clean vessel. I want to walk out of this place back connected to you, God. I want to walk out of this place, hallelujah, with my joy. I want to walk out of this place with my peace. I want to walk out of this place with my strength. Woke up or shut up. Get your neighbors and neighbors and hold on. He's getting ready to heal. He's getting ready to deliver. You gotta hold on. You gotta trust him. Hallelujah. We in that hour right now. We in that hour. You gonna have to be connected. The name is. You gotta be connected. That's why the devil trying to fly, trying to cause you not to come to church. That's why the devil trying to cause you not to pray. He trying to cause you not to fast. Hallelujah. Because he knows if I can get you disconnected, if I can get you by yourself, Hallelujah. If I can get you to walk out from up under the protection. Huh? I got you huh? because I know I can't come in and get you huh? but you got to come out on your own huh? but if I entice you to come out huh? from your protection I got you huh? but look at your neighbor say neighbor huh? I'm not coming out from up under the umbrella huh? I'm staying under my protection hallelujah huh? I'm staying under the shadow huh? of the almighty huh? abide in me huh? and I abide in you huh? do you understand what that really means huh? If you abide in me, huh, I abide in you. Huh, we're getting ready to become one. Huh, and we're getting ready to become one. Huh, and whatever is in one huh, is in the other. Hey, neighbor, say, neighbor, huh? I got the attributes huh? because we're one. Huh? I got the attributes huh? but because you're one. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor. Huh? I got the attributes of Christ huh? because I become one with him. Huh? And you know what that is? Huh? He's an overcomer. Hallelujah. Huh? You know what that is? Huh? No matter what he go through, he's going to get the victory. Hallelujah. Huh? I might suffer. Huh? But hey, neighbor, say, neighbor, huh? after I suffer a little while, huh? I'm getting ready to get the victory. Huh? So he want to make you think you ain't coming out, huh? He's trying to tell some of y'all he's gonna stay like this, huh? But I come by here tonight to Jacksonville, huh? To let you know, hallelujah, huh? Well, God, you made to turn it around in your behalf, huh? I come by here to let you know, huh? Stay connected to him, huh? Don't let that devil pull you out, huh? Hallelujah, don't let him pull you out, huh? Don't let him get you out of position, huh? Because some of you don't understand there's a glory, huh? That's getting ready to come upon us, huh? Let's get ready to take us to the next level. Hey, neighbor, so I'm getting back connected to him. Huh? I'm getting back connected to him. Huh? I'm getting back connected to him. Huh? They want to get back connected to him. Huh? I'm getting ready to get healed. Huh? I'm getting ready to get healed. Someone understand. Huh? There's some stuff you holding on to. Huh? Some anger, some bitterness. Huh? You think, hallelujah, that that's just a regular knot. Huh? You don't understand. That's a demon ball up there. Anger, that's not. Huh? But if you get delivered from that anger, huh? if you get delivered from that unforgiveness, huh? hallelujah, you don't understand, huh? You'll get an instant healing, huh? You'll get an instant healing, huh? Hey, your neighbor said, neighbor, he's here to heal, huh? He's here to deliver, huh? He's here to set free, huh? He's here to reconnect, huh? Is there anybody to lift their hand and say, Lord, huh? I need to get back reconnected, Lord, huh? I need to get back reconnected, Lord, huh? Clean my cables, Lord, huh? Clean me. Lord, clean me, huh? because of God, clean me, huh? clean me up from the inside out, God, huh? clean me, God, huh? so I can feel him like I used to feel him, huh? clean me, God, huh? that when I pray, huh? I can smell his presence huh? when it come in the room, hallelujah, huh? am I talking to anybody, is anybody here ever went to praying and when you're praying, huh? you can feel, huh? you can smell the presence of God come in the room, huh? you can feel the glory cloud come in the room, Hallelujah. That's the place God get ready to take us back to. You understand? There was some of you when you prayed. Immediately, God began to move. Hey, neighbor, say neighbor. That's where he get ready to take us back to. When we get back, we connected. Hallelujah. You understand? We magnify. You understand? Hallelujah. That was a, you had such a connect. You understand? When something was getting ready to go wrong in your family. Guess what? You didn't have to wait for it to go wrong. 
know, but you can sense the storm coming. You can sense the trial coming. You begin to go on your knees and tell them, look, we need to go in prayer. We need to go in prayer because something happening. Something getting ready to happen. I sense it in the spirit. Hallelujah. You understand? He will be able to warn you for all because you was connected. Your prayer, your prayer was powerful. Hallelujah. Your prayer, hallelujah. You can feel the presence of God breathing on you. You can feel it in the room. Hallelujah. You understand? We get ready to get back connected. Hallelujah. You understand the glory. We get ready to come back to the house. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, the glory is on the way back to the house. You understand? When they get back to the house, they ain't going to have to lay hands. But all that's going to happen to glory is going to descend. The people are going to get healed. People are going to get delivered. People are going to get set free by the power of the living God. Hallelujah. There's a people going back to praying. There's a people going back to fasting. Hallelujah. There's a people going back to say, ah, pastor, I want to go to the church and start praying. At this time, hallelujah, we pray for the move of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The prayers getting ready to change the cities and the communities. Why? Because we get ready to get connected back to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They name the name of when you're connected. You can tell what's going on. When you're connected, you can feel what's happening in the spiritual realm. When you're connected, hallelujah. Ain't nobody got to tell you nothing. You feel the power of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, they name us a neighbor. I want to get back reconnected to him. I want to get back reconnected to him. I want to be real. I got some something that made me hard. I got some something it done made me better. Huh? It done made me why I can't hear him like I used to. Huh? I can't sense him like I used to. Huh? But tell your neighbor, say tonight, huh? I'm getting ready to get my hearing back. Huh? Tonight, huh? I'm getting ready to get my heart and soften again. Huh? Tonight, I'm getting ready to get my deliverance. Huh? We got your neighbor, say neighbor, tonight huh? can be your night huh? to get your joy back. Huh? Tonight can be your night huh? to get your peace back. Huh? Tonight can be your night huh, to get restored huh? hallelujah Jesus huh? Lord I'm coming back to you Lord huh? I want to be like David here I am God huh? here I am God huh? I'm coming to you messed up huh? I'm coming to you with issues God huh? ah God they name the name say he's here to heal. Uh, he's here to deliver. Uh, he's here to turn it around. Uh, they name the name say it's our turn around hour. Uh, everybody worried. Everybody mumbling. Everybody complaining. Uh, they worried about the stock market. Uh, they worried about the economy. They name the name uh, uh, say that's all right. Uh, I know where there's a stock yet that ain't never crashed. Uh, I know where there's an economy yet that ain't never went bankrupt. Uh, and that's an economy that's in heaven. Hallelujah. Uh, I know God gonna make a way out of no way. Uh, David said it like this. He was, I was once old, once young. Huh? He said, nah, I'm old. Huh? He said, never had I seen the righteous forsaken, huh? nor his seed. Huh? Big bread. Huh? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, because we his seed. Huh? We ain't got to worry about nothing because we connected to him. Huh? The healer getting ready to come. Huh? The deliverer is getting ready to come. Huh? The way makers getting ready to come. Huh? Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor say, get ready now. Huh? It's getting ready to come to you. Huh? Your peace is getting ready to come. Huh? Your joy is getting ready to come. Huh? Your healing is getting ready to come. Huh? All you got to do is get back reconnected. Huh? Tell your neighbor, I ain't got to go huh? to a 12 step program. Huh? All I need huh? is for the power of God to fall. Huh? All I need huh? is a word huh? to set me free. Huh? All I need huh? is a word huh? to change my life. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Well, look at the name Neighbor, huh? I'm getting back. Huh? We connected to God. Huh? I'm getting my peace back. Huh? I'm getting my joy back. Huh? I'm getting my love back. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? I'm getting ready to get restored. Huh? Because I'm coming, coming one huh? with Him. Huh? Pray, neighbor, say, neighbor, my words. Huh? We're getting ready to carry power. Huh? We're getting ready to carry weight. Huh? We're going to lift your hands, and Lord. Huh? Restore me. Oh Lord, huh? 
Hallelujah. Roko Bashete. Rabba Bokoyata de Kayete. There you did was it. This is it. This is the hour God. We get ready to show up for his people. Everybody ain't gonna get it, but it's gonna be only the them who's got a made up mind that said, God, I'm willing to go all the way. God, my mind is made up. I want to trust you in everything that you do. Shabakoyata, all I need is a word. All I need huh, is a word, huh. Brother Joe. All I need huh, is a word, huh. one word, huh. I turn it around, huh. one word, huh. I turn it around. Huh. Hallelujah! Huh. And it's all I need is a word. Huh. All I need is a word. Huh. Just a couple of weeks ago, huh, I went huh, to preach. Hallelujah, Jesus! Huh, in a recovery center, huh, where people were drug bound, huh, where people were messed up. Huh, just out of jail. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You understand? Hallelujah. Huh? We went there. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You understand? Huh? I said, look, huh? I'm coming in here. I'm going to be real with you. Huh? I ain't going to try to fake none of you out. Huh? I'm going to tell you like it is. Huh? And I preach the word, return huh? back to your father's house. Huh? I'm here to let you know, yes, huh? you messed up. Huh? But we serve a God huh? that love every single one of you. Huh? Yes, huh? your family may have rejected you, huh? but God huh? I'll still accept you. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? The reason I know huh? because when you look at me, huh? you're looking at huh? an ex-alcoholic. Huh? You're looking at huh? an ex-dealer. Huh? You understand, huh? but God huh? delivered me. Huh? And if he delivered me, huh? he can deliver you. Huh? All you got to do is trust uh, in him. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, how your boy shot uh, Hallelujah. Uh, it won't happen. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he didn't have no kind of fancy church service. Uh, but you know what they did? Uh, Mama Alexander, uh, they came up uh, to the altar. Uh, so tears uh, rock under the jaw. Uh, say, man of God, uh, I'm dealing with this spirit. Uh, I'm dealing with that spirit. Uh, Will you pray for me? Hallelujah. We prayed for him. Hallelujah. We prayed for him. And God brought deliverance up in that place. Hallelujah. You understand? Like I told you, you don't need a 12 step program. All you need is a word from God. All you need is to get back connected to God. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you. He was available to me, huh, and he's available to you. Huh. I don't care huh, who done throw you away. Huh. God specializes huh, in taking the throwaways huh, and making them kings huh, and making them queens. Huh. Hallelujah. Huh. He specializes huh, in taking the black sheep huh, and make the black sheep the shepherd. Huh. You understand? Huh. He specializes huh, in raising the dead up huh, and bringing them back to life. Huh? Woke up a shot. Huh? Look at your neighbor's a neighbor. Huh? I'm getting back. Huh? Reconnected. Huh? Oh my God. Shabakayata. Huh? Somebody get ready to get your prayer life back. Huh? You get ready to get your praise back. Huh? You get ready to get your worship back. Huh? You get ready to get your dedication back. Huh? Somebody get ready to get healed. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, you know what you ought to go do? Oh, you ought to high tear somebody. Oh, they say, I'm getting restored. Oh, high tear, I tell say, I'm getting restored. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, I'm getting restored. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, he's restoring my faith. Oh, he's restoring my joy. Oh, he's restoring my peace of mind. You woke up a shot. You wrap up a little cognette. Somebody get ready to 
love again. You forgot how to love. But God, you made it to remind you how to love. Hallelujah. Some of you got folks around you. They're full of hell. But God, you ready to give you the love to love the hell up out of them. I don't stop on Karata. For your neighbors are greater. If he is in me, then he is in the world. The king of kings. The God of God. He's getting ready to come down for his people. This is the hour that God is going to restore them. That's a made the sacrifice. He's going to restore them. He's got a made up mind. They say, God, I'm running for my life. Lord, I can't make it by myself. But I need your help. I need your help. I need your help to heal me from the inside out. Rabba Koyate. Rabba Koyate. Rabba Koyate. Rabba Koyate. Rabba Koyate. Rabba Koyate. Somebody. Somebody. You can heal right now. Somebody. You can restore right now. Somebody. You can peace of mind. Back right now. In the name of Jesus. You rock up a Hayata. You woke up a Kayete. You wait for me to lay hands. But you don't understand. He's here right now. He's here right now. He's here right now. The heal. He's here right now. For the liver. He's here right now. The set free. Rabba Kayata. Glory. Shabba Kayete. Rabba Kayate Yaka. Rabba Bokoyete. Rabba Bokoyete. Come on, reach up to it. Reach up to it. Say, Lord, restore my connection. Restore my connection, Lord. Restore my connection. Reach up to it. Restore my connection. He's here to restore. 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 Restore me, O Lord. Restore me, O Lord. Restore me, Lord. Restore my joy. Restore my peace. Restore my holiness. Restore my faith. Restore me, Lord. Lift those hands. Lord, restore me. Lord, restore me. Lord, restore me. Rabba Koyata. Rabba Koyata. Rabba Koyete. Rabba Koyata. Rabba Koyete. Rabba Koyete. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, brother Joe, God told me to tell you. He's getting ready to lift alone. He's getting ready to lift alone. I don't know what this is. He's getting ready to lift alone. He's getting ready to ship with you. Like he ain't never shipped in you. Rabba Koyata. He getting ready to rekindle a fire up in you. Like he ain't never seen before. In the name of Jesus. Rabba Koyata. Rabba Koyata. Rabba Koyete. He can give you the yoke of the strength of these shoulders. Like you ain't never seen. Hallelujah, Jesus. We magnify you. Believe what I'm saying. He can get ready to strengthen you and up and lift that load off of you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, somebody lift him. Lift him up in this place. 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 Rabba Kayata. Lift him up. He's here tonight. 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 Rabba Bakoyate. Somebody get ready to get their peace 
back. Uh, they're getting their peace back right now. Uh, somebody getting their peace. They're getting their joy back. Roko uh, Boshaka. Hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Uh, Lord, uh, send a revival uh, through this place. Uh, send a revival uh, through your people right now. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you lift your hands uh, and receive uh, of the Lord uh, today. Uh, Well, look at the neighbor say, uh, say, I feel my turnaround coming. Uh, I feel myself keep coming back one with him. Uh, I get ready to get back one with him. Uh, some of you don't understand. Uh, your attitudes get ready to change after the night. Uh, you've been dealing with trouble, mind. Uh, but after the night, uh, after the night, uh, you get ready to get peace. Uh, you get ready to get the peace of God. Uh, all around Yaboko Rabako Yata Rabako Koyete He's pouring out of himself tonight He's pouring out of himself tonight You see of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah lift those hands Oh lift those hands Lift those hands Shaboko Rabakoyata Lord, strengthen these people, Lord. Strengthen these people, God. Lord, reconnect us back with you, God. God, stuff done got in the way, Jesus. Stuff done slipped in. Unaware, God. But God, this night, this night, remove it out, God. Remove the hurt. Remove the pain. Remove the bitterness, God. Somebody's heart been shattered into pieces. They can't show love no more. But put the pieces back together and give them that Jesus love again. Oh, Jesus. Touch these people, Jesus. Strengthen them like never before, oh, God. God, touch our leader, Apostle McCoy, God. God, bless his hand with everything that he needs, God. Strengthen him like never before, God. God, bless Sister Dorothy, God. Bless his entire family, God. God, bless Pastor King Cannon, God. His family, God. God, bless Brother Terrence, God. Brother Green, Brother Brandon, God. God bless all these musicians right here tonight, God. I can't call all of them, God. But bless every leader in this ministry, Jesus. Strengthen them, Lord. For this is the hour that you have ordained us for. Oh, God, strengthen us. In the name of Jesus. God, touch your people, Lord, all over this world. God, touch them like never before, God. God, I pray, God, right now for peace in Israel, God. God, move like never before. Let your will be done. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let your will be done, God. Bless like never before. Touch these people like never before, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask it all. Come on, just lift those hands up to God and tell him thank you tonight. Tell him you love him tonight. Tell him you adore him tonight. I'm coming back one with you, God. Coming back one with you, God. Clean this vessel so I can become back one with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We ask it all. Amen, amen, amen. Come on. Somebody give God a thunderous hand clap of praise in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give him a, give him a thunderous hand clap of praise up in this place tonight. 
for he alone is so worthy don't like him no way we thank God for what he's doing we ain't seen nothing yet it's getting dark but God can ready to illuminate each and every one of us thank you Jesus for being fire this time I just pay your hearts and mind how would you forgive to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ